Hi, this is Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions and I'd like to take a look at using Raster Design 2012 in AutoCAD Architecture 2012. Raster Design is a product which is um, standalone and when installed you need an AutoCAD or an Architecture or Civil 3D and it's used for handling and manipulating raster images. So first thing I'm going to do is going to insert a raster image and I've got one here for foundation detail so I'm simply going to open it up I'm going to specify that it's millimetres and I'm going to arbitrarily bring it into the screen. You can see the first issue I have with this how it's been scanned. Um, I need to physically invert this. Well, Raster Design has nice wee cleanup tools in here so I can invert it so we can see it with a white background. The other issue is you can see that it's backwards. Um, it also needs to be rotated, which we'll fix in a minute. So, what we can do in here under cleanup tools, we can simply say mirror and we can say top to bottom and it will flip it around so the text actually is created. Standard AutoCAD tools such as Rotate we can use as an, on this drawing so if I zoom out I can simply rotate it, pick the object up and rotate it around the position like so. So we can see there's some other cleanups that we physically need to do with this. This drawing is a wee bit skewed so it's off and line here. So we have a de-skew tool so if I can pick de-skew we can pick an origin where we're going to de-skew from, a reference point, and then our source angle. Where, well, our source angle is going to be this line here. So this line, physical, you pick the longest line in the drawing. You can see it's a bit of an angle. And that's the angle that I want, zero degrees. So if I type in zero, or hit the default enter, it'll physically de-skew and rotate the drawing around there, as shown. Some other nice tools that we have are the likes of the despeckle tool. So you can see in here we've got these speckles over the drawing. Uh, I need to clean those up. So we can use our various cleanup tools like despeckle. And um, I can pick the entire image. And I can pick the sample size of a pixel. And you can see it'll highlight all the other pixels in there. So if I physically hit enter, it's despeckled based on that pixelation size. I still got some more speckles in the drawing, so what I could do is go in and say entire image again. I can pick my speckle size, it'll pick some of the objects up, or all of them, that's that image size, uh, or pixel size or less, and if I hit enter, again it'll clean up. So it's a nice big clean up operation um, in there. We have touch up tools as well that we can physically use. So if I go to touch up, I get a little um, brush in here so we can change the size of the brush by simply picking points on the screen and pull it down. So we can touch up. Um, as shown here, so I can physically touch up and clean up say I like so this line going across. If I've made a mistake I can invert the colour um, and maybe re change the size of my brush that I want to use. In there, and so I can very easily touch up and actually change that level of detail and we can hit save on that um, if we wanted. So other wee tools that we can actually physically do, um, we can crop this image. So if we select image here, we can go to create clipping boundary. I can do it by rectangular and simply crop out the area that I physically want. So that's some simple tools. Let's look in a bit more detail. Say we're going to bring in an architectural model. So um, I'm going to create a new drawing based on my AutoCAD template. Take my grid off and let's insert an architectural plan. Let's finish that and let's zoom to it. So first things first on this, um, I'm happy enough I'm not going to de-skew it but you can see in here that this is 78 feet long. Um, if I take a physical distance on the screen it's not the correct size. So it's just arbitrarily brought in the image. There's no scale to it, it's set at 75mm on the screen. But that's, I know that's not the case. So the tool I'll use is scale. Um, I'll pick my base point and then my source angle. Our source length and then tell it the actual length it needs to be. I'll calculate this out earlier on, so it's 23 meters, 774 millimeters. So I hit enter, that is now to scale. So if I take a distance within the drawing of this room, we can see this is uh, nearly 3.6 meters in length. Obviously, um, you would do a bit of work with the image for cleanup and rationalisation to start with. Okay, other tools that we can do in here. Well, we can take a physical area away, so we can remove a region out of this. So, say if I had a rectangular region, 
the staircase was removed, um, I can physically pick it up and hit delete. I can use my touch up tools to actually say resize a brush and remove some of the details I don't want to see. So say I have a new staircase detail in here that I want to show. And again I can hit enter and finish that out. Well I can simply insert that as a block or I can start drafting on the screen. So if I'm certain the details a block I have a new staircase that I'm going to bring in like so and I'm going to give that a new position. Um, I might have a new bay window that I want to physically put in here, so again I'm going to insert this bay window um, I'm going to have a look at it Let's load it up Again we can bring that in So what I might want to do here is actually use a polygonal region to physically take this area away that I don't want Pick the objects up and hit delete And again I would use a touch up in here because the dimensions will be incorrect Okay, let's move that bay window into position. So we use from my endpoint here. I'll approximately bring it in line. Again, if it's incorrect size, whatever we can add um, physically to this as well. Um, okay, let's bring it in line over there and let's scale that. That's approximately the size that I want. All right, let's move it into position. Okay, so that's my new bay window location, physically within the model. But um, you can see in here that it's vector and raster data. What happens if I want to merge that detail in there? Well, what we can actually do is if I select these details after exploding, I can right click and go um, merge vector to raster image. And that actually makes the vector data now part of the raster image. So I'm being consistent here in my approach. Again, I can select this data up, right click, merge vector data to raster image, erase the existing geometry, and I can actually put it in. So I'm retaining my original image, making some modifications in there. I have an object to scale. I'm also working with my AutoCAD objects um, in the background. Thanks very much. I'm David Gawley for from Pentagon Solutions.